Marcus, what um what do you feel like the biggest issue was for you guys defensively today? Oh, uh, just getting off the field. I mean, we uh once they got rolling, we had a tar- tough time stopping them. Um, you know, within the run game and the pass game. Uh, just got to find a way to get out the field on third downs and, and slow their momentum down. Marcus, how frustrating is it for you that you guys go through practice, prepare for this game, and then they end up as bad as it does, 40 to three against the Seattle Seahawks? Um, I mean, you got to show up on Sundays ready to play. Um, you know, you go throughout the week with the game plan. Um, come Sunday, you got to execute. Uh, you got to know that it's live bullets. Um, I mean, you got to show up on Sunday, be ready to play. Speaking of live bullets, uh, Russell Wilson certainly has a lot of weapons. Why was it so difficult to slow them down or, or to stop them on this day? Um, I mean, they were able to run the ball and throw the ball. Um, we couldn't make them one dimensional. Um, and, you know, if you can't do that, it's pretty tough to stop a team. You can let them get whatever they want. Uh, so you just got to find a way to make teams one dimensional, um, either stop the run or, or keep the ball from, you know, going down the field. Parker, Obviously, was, there, was there any residual effect at all from the heartbreak loss of last week? I mean, there's only so much you guys could probably endure at this point. Um, no, nah, I mean, that was last week. This is a new week, a uh, new opportunity, new game. Um, you know, I don't necessarily think that was well, that wasn't on my mind, where it wasn't worried about any of that. Um, like I said, we just got to come out, um, apply what we put put on during the week or out. Uh, we got to come out on Sundays and, and put it on play. Obviously, you guys are going to come out and play with pride every single week. But we're getting down to the last three games of the regular season. And I, I know you guys don't want to join that group of teams that have gone 0-16. On, on what is this going to take for you guys to get that first win of the season? Um, come out on Sundays and put a full game together, all three phases, um, you know, from everybody. Um, you know, it's going to take a group effort, collective effort um, from all three phases. So, I mean, it's, like I said, it's a new week. Watch this film, get back to the drawing boards, and, and try to win the game next week. That's the only thing we can do. What was it like for you tra- uh, You guys transitioning to having a new, new coordinator and play caller? Did, did you attribute any of the breakdowns to that, you know, transitioning to that? No, nah, I mean, we knew same calls, same, same schemes. There wasn't anything new. Um, so, like I said, it comes down to just executing, um, communicating, getting off the field, playing well in all three phases. Can you talk about your interception at the beginning of the game? How disappointing was that um, not to score afterwards? Um, I mean, it was just a play. Um, it was an and up from DK. I just, you know, read it, stayed with it. Um, we also put it up. Um, I, you know, turned the head, played the ball, and, you know, made a play on it. Uh, you know, just got to find a way to, to execute after that. And we, like I said, we got to put a full game together from all three phases. Marcus, did you get a chance to uh, either before or after the game catch up with Jamal at all? Uh, yeah, I talked to him after the game. Uh, you know, I was excited to see him. We were excited to see each other. Uh, you know, we wish for the best for each other, no matter what the situation is. Uh, you know, that we're going to be boys regardless, so it's good to see each other. Did he express any, uh, of course he wanted to beat you, but did he express any empathy about the way your season has gone? Uh, no, he just told me to keep my head up, stick with it. Um, I mean, he, he knows the type of player I am, the type of person I am. So, um, you know, so like I said, you got to show up and, and, and keep playing. Adam mentioned that a lot of times after he talks to the team after a tough loss like this, veterans, and he mentioned you in particular, sometimes kind of chime in to reiterate what he said. <clears throat> Can you talk about, how, you know, what role you see for yourself in that kind of situation? Um, I mean, I'm just here just to keep the guys together. Um, you know, lead by example, um, let my play do it. Um, try to rally the guys when things get tough. Um, you know, I just, you know, do whatever I have to do for my guys and my team. And, you know, that's just what I've been trying to do all year.